Hi guys, I thought I'd bring out one of my globes today so we can take a look um, at a country on here. We can look at where we live and compare it to where the story that we're going to read today takes place. So here's our country right here. We're the United States on this big map of the world or globe as we call it. And we're right here, a little tiny California, Riverside County. We're gonna go all the way around the world past Africa, past Europe, to China. That's where the story takes place. China. And then if you keep going all the way around the world, you're gonna get right back to the United States if you fly all the way around the world. Some of you may do it someday. The story's called Tiki Tiki Tim. It's fun, and there's a part in it that we repeat over and over again. It's this person's a name that we'll repeat over and over again. And hopefully if you listen to the story a bunch of times, you'll be able to say it too. All right, let's give it a go. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, it was the custom of all the fathers and mothers in China to give their first and honored sons great long names. But the second sons were given hardly any name at all. In a small mountain village, there lived a mother who had two little sons. Her second son, she called Chang, which meant little or nothing. But her first and honored son, she called Tiki Tiki Tembo No Sa Rembo Chari Bari Ruchi Pip Beri Pembo, which meant the most wonderful thing in the whole wide world. Every morning, the mother went to wash in a little stream near her home. The two boys always went chattering along with her. On the bank was an old well. Don't go near the well, warned the mother, or you will surely fall in. The boys did not always mind their mother, and one day they were playing beside the well, and on the well, when Chang fell in. Tiki tiki tembo, no sa rembo, charibari ruchi, pip beri pembo, ran as fast as his little legs could carry him to his mother and said, Most honorable mother, Chang has fallen into the well. The water roars, little blossom, I cannot hear you, said the mother. Then, tiki tiki tembo, no sa rembo, charibari ruchi, pip beri pembo, raised his voice and cried, Oh, most honorable one! Chang has fallen into the well. That troublesome boy, answered the mother. Run and get the old man with the ladder to fish him out. Then, tiki tiki tembo, no sa rembo, charibari ruchi, pip beri pembo, ran as fast as his little legs could carry him to the old man with the ladder and said, Old man with the ladder, Chang has fallen into the well. Will you come and fish him out? So, said the old man with the ladder, Chang has fallen into the well. And he ran as fast as his old legs could carry him. Step over step, step over step, he went into the well, picked up little Chang, and step over step, step over step, brought him out of the well. He pumped the water out of him, and pushed the air into him, and pumped the water out of him, and pushed the air into him, and soon, Chang was just as good as ever. Now, for several months, the boys did not go near the well. But after the festival of the eighth moon, they ran to the well to eat their rice cakes. They ate near the well. They played around the well. They walked on the well. And tiki tiki tembo, no sa rembo, chari bari ruchi pip beri pembo fell into the well. Chang ran as fast as his little legs could carry him to his mother and said, Oh, most honorable mother, Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Charibari Ruchi, Pip Berry Pembo has fallen into the well. The water roars, little one. I cannot hear you. So little Chang took a deep breath. Oh, mother, most honorable, he panted. Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Charibari Ruchi, Pip Berry Pembo has fallen into the well. Tiresome child, what are you trying to say? said his mother. Honorable mother, Chari Bari Rembo Tiki Tiki, he gasped. Pip Bip has fallen into the well. Unfortunate son, surely the evil spirits have bewitched your tongue. Speak your brother's name with reverence. 
Poor little Chang was all out of breath from saying the great long name, and he didn't think he could say it one more time, but then he thought of his brother in the old well. Chang bowed his little head clear to the sand, took a deep breath, and slowly, very slowly said, Most honorable mother, Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Chari Bari Ruchi Pip Berry Pembo is at the bottom of the well. Oh, not my first and honored son, heir of all I possess. Run quickly and tell the old man with a ladder that your brother has fallen into the well. So Chang ran as fast as his little legs would carry him to the old man with the ladder. Under a tree, the old man with the ladder sat, bowed and silent. Old man, old man, shouted Chang, come right away. Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Chari Bari Ruchi, Pip Berry Pembo has fallen into the stone well. But there was no answer. Puzzled, he waited, and then with his very last bit of breath, he shouted, Old man with the ladder, Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Chari Bari Ruchi, Pip Berry Pembo is at the bottom of the well. Miserable child, you disturb my dream. I had floated into a purple mist and found my youth again. There were glittering gateways and jeweled blossoms. If I close my eyes, perhaps I will again return. Poor little Chang was frightened. How could he say that great long name again? Please, old man with a ladder, please help my brother out of the cold well. So, said the old man with a ladder, your mother's precious pearl has fallen into the well. The old man with the ladder hurried as fast as his old legs could carry him. Step over step, step over step, he went into the well and step over step, step over step, out of the well with the little boy in his arms. Then he pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him and pumped the water out and pushed the air into him. But little Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Chari Bari Ruchi, Pit Berry Pembo had been in the water so long, all because of his great long name, that the moon rose many times before he was quite the same again. And from that day to this, the Chinese have always thought it wise to give all their children little short names instead of great long names. Thank you! That was Tiki Tiki Tembo, retold by Arlene Mosell and illustrated by Blair Lent. It is um, another uh, what we call folk tales, and we've read a few folk tales lately. I think one of them, I can't remember now if we had the, they were a Russian folk tale or an Eastern European folk tale, and now we tried a Chinese one. Um, I think it's interesting that we use a lot of positional words in this book, too, just like in the other book we were talking about. Um, the old man talks about into and um, Push the air into him and out is a positional word. They talked about going into the well and being pulled out. And they talked about playing on the well. So all those are good positional words. Um, let's talk about some nouns that are in the book. There's a few things I just thought we'd look at um, from our original book. We have, just like in the book here with the old man, oh! drop my stuff. The old man has a straw hat. A hat is a noun. It's a person, place, or thing. We have the hat, just like from the book. We have a ladder, just like from the book. A ladder. Oh, there's some, some other vocabulary. Oh, I thought this was interesting. I have a little very fancy lantern that is also across the top of this page while they're celebrating in the, the um, festival. They have a fancy lantern. Lantern. What else do we have? Oh! This is on the page where he has fallen into the well. And at the bottom of the well there is a pail. We have a pail. This one ha happens to have some beautiful koi fish on it. And there's also uh, a, pig, a little um, fish swimming around inside the well. And there is one of our fish. So let's talk about our nouns again, which are people, places, or things. In this case, they're all things that we're talking about. We have a hat, a ladder, 
a lantern, a pail, and a fish. I bet you could name all those things. Except maybe the lantern. That one's a little difficult, isn't it? But all the other ones are good. They're easy. It's good to know our vocabulary from our books. Well, I hope you like that little story. We've been reading it for, um, I've been, it's, a bit, it's actually been, was written a long time ago, so I've been reading that book for, for 20 years for my students. And I think the one thing that we always remember if, once we read it enough is that we can sing along with that tiki tiki tembo, no sa rembo. So maybe we'll memorize that someday. Thanks for sharing with me. I hope you liked my things. My little stuff to show you, to illustrate how great some of these books are. See you soon, guys. Bye.